Is it okay to take a dog into a store or other public places? Where is the right and wrong place for man's best friend? Now, on The Brew. Hey, Joel, uh, some people love to take their dogs into stores and public places. Did you ever take Crispin into a store? It's extremely rare. It'll be like something I have to get like on the way home and I'm already out with him and he hates being in a car. So it's just, it's really, really rare. So I actually, I think most of the, the observations I've made when people do bring dogs in stores or like there's bars out here you can bring your dog. Um, most of those animals are really well behaved. Uh, people are obviously going to have surf surf service animals, but as long as you're not putting other people out, I don't have a problem with it. Um, you just make sure you clean up after them and they don't like harm anybody or any other dogs, you know, but for the most part, I, you know, dogs are awesome. So it's good to have them out, out and about. Oh, but oh, even though you don't be out and about. He's staring at you. Yeah, yeah I, have no, I have no problems with it either, especially a service animal, that's okay. But some people, just like you said, you gotta keep them under control. The dog should not be running up and down the aisles in a grocery store. And also, it should not be touching any of the merchandise that are filthy paws. If they're in the cart chilling out or something or just walking around, that's cool, that's fine. But I was one time here at Walgreens and I remember this woman coming with this big giant dog. She's at the checkout counter and she's not paying attention to her dog. The dog was way too big to be in the store, number one. And the dog starts jumping through the candy there at the aisle and is like trying to get the Candy bars, knocks them all down. The cashier's like, ma'am, you need to like keep raining your dog. Don't tell me what to do with my dog. She paid, took, and left, and left the mess on the floor there for the store to clean up. That's on her. You need to keep your dog under control and not being at going after the candy bars at the checkout. I mean, that's, that's, but some dog owners aren't responsible like that. Yeah, that's a good example. I think that just adds to my point of like, as long as you're not putting other people out, it's cool. But yeah, you definitely need to. Oh man, I would have been so much. I would have been so much meaner. <laughs> I've been so much meaner than please keep your dog under control if it was doing that shit. Well, you know now you can't. You got to be careful what you say to people because now you're wrong. Even if they're, they're wrong, but you said something to them, you're actually wrong now because you offended them. Because that's how sensitive we are now. You gotta. You just gotta be careful. Okay, weird direction to go. Yeah, yeah. But I, the other thing I'm gonna say about that though. You don't need to take a dog to every single place. Like puppy doesn't need to be in like a nice five star restaurant. There are places the dog should not be sitting on the floor when you're like dining out for hours. If it's an outdoor patio cafe, that's fine. But an indoor restaurant, which it doesn't, I've seen people do that here. You can't be doing that. Sometimes people take their dogs places that are inappropriate. A big dog on a packed subway train in the morning in New York City is not the best thing. The dog's stressed out, people are stressed out, so why is puppy on the subway in the morning and during rush hour? I mean, sure, maybe you're taking to the park or something, but you gotta like, just think for a second. And sometimes we don't do that. Right, I agree with you. What's up, bud? This show's all about you. That's what the theme song says. But hey, what do you guys think? So we got your comments. Do you think people, uh, what do you think about people taking dogs into public places? Let's find out. Brock Vitara says, only if the dog is human and has a long tongue. Okay. Blonus says, absolutely, they act better than most children. Hey, that's a good point right there because some dogs are super well behaved and that's okay. If puppy can handle it, great. But if puppy is stressed out, then no, that's a lose-lose. Lucy Boos says, yes, they're more respectful and so much more cuter than other than people. Sorry, not sorry. Nice. Starman says, if people keep them under control, it should be fine. Hey, that's my answer. Although it gets a little weird when people take them into restaurants or places where food is served. Your dog just walked over the filthy parking lot. Now it's jumping around a restaurant. I kind of, that was kind of part of my point too. When there is food, puppy is a dirty animal too. I mean, puppy just licked its balls out in a parking lot. Now you're going to take it into a restaurant or something. So... Hmm. Yeah, I actually, I took him over uh, for dinner the other night at, at someone's house and uh, but they were like, he started licking, he started licking one of the people and I was like, don't let him lick you. Like he licks his ass. Like he licked his ass like right before we got over here. So that's something to keep in, in mind when you're at a restaurant for sure. I completely agree with that point. Scoots in Vegas says, only if they're a service animal. Matt Treat says, service dogs should be allowed everywhere. However, unless a business specifically says, dogs welcome, it's best to leave them at home. And much like kids, if they make a mess or destroy something, you should be responsible. That's right, if your dog does make a mess, clean it up. But I see people here let the dog drop, drop it in the sidewalk and they don't clean that up, so. Well, let's get to the poll right now. So this poll is gonna be interesting. So do you think is it okay to take dog to a store but other public places? For the first time ever in the history of the brew, we have a 50-50 tie. The poll does not have an answer. Even amount for yes, even amount for no. Wow, it's just like when you watch a game and it ends up being like a 0-0 tie. We actually don't have an answer. 
tied pole. Wow. Wow. One person versus one person. I made this the most intense matchup ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how many voters are. That's a good question, though. But yeah, all right. Well, tie game here. All right, well, we'll try to get a better answer next time, and you'll find out what that is when you click that like or subscribe button for all the fun here on the Big Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Lots of bar talk, lots of games, and fun waiting for you right here every week. And we do, look, I do love animals. It's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing Crispin there coming up soon. I'll, I'll come see the pup. It'll be all good. You know, I, yeah. I love animals. It's just, I guess the bottom line is for owners, you got to be responsible. Yep. That's the that's the main point of the show. You can you can handle it, but make sure that you you're not putting other people out, making a mess, putting anybody in harm's way, or being unsanitary, and you're good. Exactly. And we apologize to those people that are allergic to dogs and they have to deal with the people who eat the store. Well, that's uh, sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, there's Joe Ion saying thanks for watching, thanks for your comments, and we'll see you next time. I hope. It's time for more game show fun as we play. What is it really and spin to win? Who wants to win Amazon gift cards?